you so much for being so patient. We do apologize for a couple of things that was going on back there, but we figured it out and we're ready to have a competition. Oh my goodness. This is one of the largest crowds I've ever had. All right, we're gonna just jump right into it. We are gonna divide this lounge in half right here up this middle. On this side, you are considered the port side. I'm sorry, all of you on the bottom, you're fantastic. Thank you so much. Y'all better get with this. I done told y'all if y'all in this room, sir, in the red shirt. I'm looking, baby, this is not a TV. I can see you, okay? Y'all have a responsibility from the top to the bottom, front to back. You are the port side. We already got a competition now. For those of you who cruise with us before, you know we used to have the gender showdown. We don't do that anymore now. Everybody in here is gonna get a chance to participate tonight. So with that being said, the first thing we need to do is get some team captains. So I need a volunteer team captain, adults only, to be up here on the stage, to be up here with me. So I need a volunteer team captain. Where you at, where you at? You, get on up here, young lady. Get on over here, and I need you to stand right here. Right there, you get on over here. All right, sir, I got you right here. You come right here, sit you right here. Okay. Now you are going to be the team captain of the port side. <laughs> Lovely, you stand right here, right here by this clipboard. You stand right here on the carpet area. And uh, you are gonna be the team captain of the starboard side. <laughs> Tell everybody your name and where you're from. Tell them what I call you? No. Chocolate thunder from down under. <laughs> Listen, I don't know this woman. That child is not mine. Okay. <laughs> What's your name, Lemon? Where are you from? I'm Patty from Walworth, Maryland. Walworth, Maryland. Give it up for Patty. All right, young man. What's your name? Where are you from? Thanks for the young man, but it's Jim from Maryland. Jim from Maryland. Okay, so you got two Maryland-based team captains. Now, team captains, what's going to happen is that you are going to not only sometimes be team captains, but you're also going to be team coaches. Because the way it works is that we're going to go through some trivia. It's going to happen like this. We have the first round. We have about five trivia questions for each side. You... You want to sit down so bad, don't you? You want to sit down so bad. Listen, if those knees give out, brother, just... I get it. You didn't get your quarters on shot before you got here. I got it. <laughs> Listen, you're going to be the team captain. You're going to sometimes have to coach your team to win, and sometimes you're going to have to just help your team to win. Now, as team captains, when we go through our trivia portion, because we'll go through trivia, five questions, then we'll go through trivia, a few questions, and then we'll go through another trivia. But in between each one of those rounds will be a physical challenge. You will be have to bring some of your team members up on stage from top and bottom. You'll choose them, and I'll give you the rules, and then they'll, fit, they'll physically compete up here in a physical challenge. Okay? So, with that being said, first things first, we're gonna do our we're gonna do our trivia challenge. Now, how many people ever remember the show called Are You Smarter Than a? We have grade school trivia. We're gonna see just how much you remember from grade school. And let me tell you, you can't cheat. We got 25 people on board under the age of 18. So this might be your best asset right here, y'all. And you got one over here as well, yeah? So we've evened it out. Here we go. And team captains, when I ask you a trivia question, the final answer has to come through you. So you can pull your audience from top to bottom. You can pull your audience from top to bottom. And you will have to come back, slam your hand right here on the corner of the stage and tell me you have an answer. When you give me your answer, you're locking it in, and I will take that answer and that answer only. It has to come from you. The final answer has to come from the team captain. So team captains, are you ready? Teams, are you ready? Is it gonna be the starboard side? The port side? The starboard side? The port side? All right, starboard side and port side. Team captains, who would you like to go first? Who would you like to go first? He said we're gonna go over here, ladies first. All right, ma'am, you win the right to stay on board tonight. All right, here we go. 
Question number one for the entire side. Y'all can work together as a team. Get the answer to your team captain. She's going to lock it in. Here we go. We're going to start with first grade. First grade science. True or false? The moon gets its light from the sun. True or false? Ooh, there's a there's a little conflict conflict over there. The moon gets its light from the sun. True or false? <laughs> He's like, shut up, kid. <laughs> I need an answer. I need an answer. Slam your hand down. Slam. What is your answer? True. You can finalize the truth. That, I'm sorry. It's correct. One point to the star side. Port side. First grade art. First grade art. Blue and red makes what color when mixed together? Blue and red makes what color when mixed together? <laughs> Slam his hand down, you're locking in. What answer? Purple, that is correct. It's one to one, one to one. Star side. First grade, still in the first grade. First grade music. First grade music, starboard side, top to bottom, front to back, you're all in this. Is the oboe part of the brass family or the wind family? She's locking in the answer. What answer are you saying? The wind family, that is correct. Two to one, two to one. Still in the first grade, but we're moving over to first grade reading. First grade reading. There you are. There y'all are. Y'all the ones that don't read the fun times. Y'all the ones that will refuse to read, get the Carnival Hub, Carnival Hub app and you show up late. All right. First grade reading. Winnie the Pooh lived in what forest? Winnie the Pooh lived in what forest? Now up top, you're a part of this too. Yell it out. Yell it out. Help out your team captains. It's two to one. He is doing his due diligence. He is polling everybody. He's got an answer. What is your answer? Sun 100 Acre Wood, that is correct. Give it up for both sides, you're tied at 2-2. Two, two. Here we go, going on to the next question, going on to the next question. We're now going up to second grade. Second grade social studies. Second grade social studies. What came first, the Bill of Rights or the Declaration of Independence? Help them out up top, help them out by down below, help them out everybody. What came first, the Bill of Rights or the Declaration of Independence? I see that uh, Portside is helping you out as well. <laughs> You're locking in an answer, what is your answer? The Declaration of Independence, that's the final answer, that is correct. Three to two, three to two. We're graduating up to second grade science. Second grade science. True or false? Kilometers are used to measure weight. <laughs> Got a 50 50 chance of answering that. You're going with false. That is correct. False. They are measured to, they measure distance. All right, going over to your next question. It's tied at 3-3. Three, three. Second grade grammar, second grade grammar. True or false, a suffix is added to the beginning of a word. Lock it in and answer, what is your answer? No, that, okay, thank you. She said false, that is correct! Y'all are keeping it even, keeping it even. See if you can keep up with the score. We're going on to second grade science. Second grade science. Here we go. Although wrong, 
most of the time. What does a meteorologist study? He says, weather is correct. How do they keep their job, yo? How do they keep their, it's the same everywhere. They're almost always wrong. All right, at least in your area, right? Yes. Okay, last two questions, tied at 4-4. Four, four. Third grade now, third grade music. Who composed, who composed the march entitled The Stars and Stripes Forever? Help him out everybody, help him, help her out. She says, Sousa, John Philip Sousa, I am sorry, that is correct. Five to four, can they tie it up before our very first physical challenge? Third grade math, third grade math, sir. Oh my goodness, I have got to get you a pen and a paper. Third grade math, y'all get ready. Here we go. Third grade math. Here is your paper, and I'm giving you pen and not an eraser. All right. In Roman numerals, I need you to write the number 34. Y'all can help him out, everybody. Y'all can help him out. You guys can help him out as well. You guys can help him out. <laughs> Help him out. It's five to four, five to four. We can't wait to do our very first physical challenge. <laughs> you are locking in an answer, sir. What answer are you locking in? Let me have your paper. Here we go. The question was, in mathematics, in Roman numerals, I need you to write down the number 34. He wrote X, 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 V. Is that incorrect? Oh, wait a minute, there's a one in front of the V. That is correct. All right, we're now tied at five. We're now tied at five. We're moving on to our very first physical challenge. So team captains, you see that there's a clipboard in front of you and you see that there are letters on that clipboard. Four letters. I need you to take those four letters and choose four adults from, sorry, four adults and two, well, two kids and two adults if you can find some kids. A mixture of adults and kids up on stage. The only rule is in order to get up on stage you must have your shoes on. That's the only rule, you must have your shoes on. So I need four people that's willing to get up and have a little fun on stage, give them each letter, each a letter, and they need to come up onto the stage. Once you get your letter, come on up to the stage. You can pick from the top and the bottom. You can pick from the top and the bottom. That's probably your only kid on your team right there behind you. Yeah, so make sure at least he gets one. All right, because that's your own. I want you to have a mixture of kids and adults. Kids and adults. All right. Looks like the port side has all four people ready to go. Okay. Oh, there's three kids in the room. That's more than I thought. Just that one kid right in front of me. Of course you are, Dimples. <laughs> Get up on stage. You're part of this team. Okay. Honey, it's four letters. Get them out to somebody. <laughs> one more. Yes, give them all away. Anyone else? She's one to participate. Okay. So here's how it works. I'm gonna, you all have a letter and I need you to place that letter in front of you with the words showdown at the bottom and make sure that your teams can see your letters. 
Okay? Now, I'm gonna need a ringer. I need a ringer on this side. I need one ringer on this side. I need one ringer on this side, on this side here. Okay. Yes, burgundy shirt, come up here. Come up here. She's still celebrating her birthday. She doing this. Okay. Okay. You see the lady in the, in the, with the O? I need you to stand with her. I need you to stand with her. Because what's gonna happen, everybody, you'll see why I brought in a ringer. We are going to, you got a letter in front of you. I'm gonna call out a word. You're gonna need to move as fast as you can into the position of that word. You're gonna spell the word by moving yourselves. Y'all you, got a winner over here, baby. Y'all got a winner. She's gonna lead y'all straight to success. Okay, so when I call out the letter, when I call out the word, you need to move yourselves into the word from your right to your left. You need to spell the word from your right to your left. Team captains, you're going to coach them. Okay, this is where you coach your team and make sure they are spelling the word correctly from their right to their left so that we can read it here on stage. Okay, ma'am, with the, with the brace on your leg, if you need a ringer, she's right there. She'll do all the running for you. Okay? All right. Let me give you our first word. Our first word as a practice. He's been here before. Sir, hold on to it. Hold on. All right. I'm looking for the word. I'm looking for the word. You got to move yourselves. You cannot exchange letters. You have to move yourselves. Okay? I'm looking for the word tops. Tops. That would have actually went to the starboard side. But that was just a practice round, okay? Our ringer is right there if you need her. If you need her at any time, she will run for you, okay? All right. Now we are moving to our points round. Every one of the words after now, after, after that, will now be one point. You have to move yourselves into the word. First word I'm looking for for one point is the word post. The word post. I'm looking for the word tops, tops. That was close. That was very close. Was it the starboard side? Was it the port side? Was it the starboard side? Or was it the port side? The port goes to... The port goes to... The port side. All right, you guys are doing great. Seven to six, seven to five, seven to five. I'm looking for, I'm looking for the word pots, pots. So close, so close, but it goes to the port side. It goes to the port side, it's eight to five, eight to five. I'm looking for the word, I'm looking for the word ops. That point goes to the starboard side. Six to eight, six to eight. Come on, babies, get in the word. Come on, y'all. Y'all put him in the word, help him out. Thank you. There you go, you can't leave. No child left behind, George Bush kid. No, no child left behind. All right, here we go. I'm looking for the word, I'm looking for the word, and our last one, dots. That goes to the starboard side! Seven to eight, seven, eight, give it up for your teams! All right, it's seven to eight, they made a comeback, starboard side,
team captains, go ahead and collect your letters. Teams, go ahead and have a seat back in the audience. We're going back into our third round, which will be trivia. We're going back into our trivia round. I want to thanks to our reader for helping us out there. All right. All right, so now we're gonna move into our third round, which is trivia. Now it's gonna be a few questions, then we're gonna to go to our very next, our very next round of questions, and then we got our very last, uh, we got our very last physical challenge. So, here we go. I'm headed back to the stage. We're going back to third grade, and we're going to third grade social studies. It's eight to seven, eight to seven. Here we go, starting back on this side. Third grade social studies. The rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that what was still there? Your final answer is flag. That's what you're locking in, flag. That is incorrect. It is our flag. Our flag. Listen, if you need booze, go to the bar. <laughs> All right, here we go. Chance to take the lead by two. Third grade mathematics. Haley's Comet last came into view in 1986. 75 years from that date, it is expected to come again. What date or what year will that be? Help him out, everybody. Help him out, help him out. You can help him out over here as well. He's polling the audience. He's polling his audience. He's locking in an answer. What answer are you locking in? What year would it be? 2061. Final answer. I'm sorry. That is correct. Nine to seven, nine to seven. Here we go, moving on to the fourth grade. Moving on to fourth grade English. Star beside fourth grade English. Rip Van Winkle fell asleep in which New York State mountains? Rip Van Winkle fell asleep in which New York State mountains? Everybody, you are all a part of this. Help her out. Help her out. You said you're locking in. Yes. Catskill Mountains is correct. Eight to nine, eight to nine. Okay, let me just address something. If you guys have seen me for the last couple weeks, you know I like to stamp out fires, right? Baby, if y'all can't get the national anthem right, no, no, it is, it is what was not there. What is not there? That is still, I did not. You got it wrong. It's called Wrong City and that's where y'all live. Coming for me. Don't come for me unless I sin for you, baby. Here we go, everybody, here we go. Going on to our next one. Fourth grade health. Fourth grade health. We all love that class, didn't we? No. You never knew what to expect in, for, in health class. You never knew what to expect. Okay, how many cups? How many cups are in 28 fluid ounces? How many cups are in 28 fluid ounces? How many cups are in 28 fluid ounces? You have an answer, lock it in. What answer? Three and a half, that is correct. It's up to 10. 10 to, 
Same thing. Here we go. Fourth grade. Fourth grade. Fourth grade English. Pirate Long John Silver appears in which classic novel by Robert Louis Stevenson? For those of you who are just coming in, we're doing our showdown. We've got the Porta versus the Starboard Side. The Porta versus the Starboard Side. The Port Side has a slight lead, but we still got one more physical challenge that could change everything. All right. At least. <laughs> Treasure Island is correct though. Nine to ten, nine to ten, you keep it at a two point lead. Here we are. Fourth grade geography. Fourth grade geography. The magnificent Taj Mahal Hotel is located in which country? Hotel. The magnificent Taj Mahal Hotel is located in which country? Security, do you know? Do you know, Mr. Security Officer? The security officer knows, but do you know? He's got a lot of answers being thrown at him. It's not easy being team captain. Sir, do you have an answer? Lock it in. What is your answer? Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Congratulations. That is incorrect. You like that emotional roller coaster I took you on right there? It is India. Same as the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal Hotel is located in India as well. Right across from the Queen Elizabeth Gate. Yes, she said she knew. Okay, still sitting at 10. You get to pull within one point. Okay. Here we go. We've now moved on to fifth grade art. We're now at fifth grade school trivia. So we want to know, are you smarter than a? Yeah. Who painted Bible scenes on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? I don't know, it was a lot. There's four different Ninja Turtles, there's one of them. You're locking in Michelangelo. Congratulations, that is correct. It's nine to 10. They're catching up on you, buddy. They're catching up on you. We're now back in the fifth grade. Fifth grade music. Fifth grade music. In fifth grade music, a whole note is held for how many beats? Got a lot of different answers here. You're locking in an answer, and you're locking in four. He says four, that is correct. It's 11 to nine, 11 to nine. You are still within one, you can still be within one point. It is four beats. I am not doing this with you. <laughs> You are down by one now. You came up, you are down by two. 11 10, sorry, 11 10. You got it. I will do this with you. Don't be yelling at me, girl. I'll kick you in your bad knee. <laughs> All right. Awesome. You are right. I'm glad you got a security officer on your team. We are now in fifth grade science. Fifth grade science. <laughs> Come on, Christian. Here we go. Which organ removes cell waste from the blood? Which organ removes cell waste from the blood? Here we go, y'all. The 
question is, which organ removes cell waste from the blood? Which organ removes cell waste from the blood? It's 11 to 10. 11 to 10. She's locking in the answer. She's got an answer. She's going with liver. She's locking in liver. Well done, that is incorrect. It is the kidney. It is the kidney. The organ that removes cell waste from the blood is the kidney. We're not done yet. We're still in fifth grade science. Here we go. The insulin hormone is secreted from which gland? Score is still 11 to 10. Can you pull out a way by two? Lock it in an answer. What is your answer? The pancreas is correct. All right. It is 12 to 10, but this last physical challenge is worth five points. So at this time, teams, I need eight people on stage. They must have their shoes on eight people on stage that must have their shoes on that have not already participated. So I need eight new people on stage. Come on, y'all, volunteer. It's time for you guys to get up on stage, have some fun. I need them to come up on stage, yes. They do not need a number. We're doing something completely different. You got some people up here up top that wanna join. And if you wanna join, just unhook that and be careful coming down these stairs. All right, hold on to the rail the entire way down the stairs. Unhook those, unhook those, and be careful on the way down and hold on to the rail the entire way down the stairs. I need eight people from each side. You must have your shoes on. They are have to be on the stage. You need eight. You need eight. <laughs> you are going to regret this. All right. to our very last challenge, and this is our physical challenge. Now, each one of you will be given a challenge as a team. Now, team captains, this is where you become coaches. You are going to need to coach your team to a win. Now, there's a game that we called freeze frame. I'm gonna call out a specific, I'm gonna call out a specific scene. You're gonna, you have 10 seconds to get your teams into that scene. When I say freeze, you cannot move, you cannot speak. Now I'm gonna be judging this on three different levels. First, fun. Can you make it fun? All right, two, emotion. You're gonna to need to sell that scene on your face. And finally, risk. How far are you willing to go to get the point? It is currently 11, it's currently 12 to 10, and the port side is in the lead! We're gonna do a little practice round first. So everybody remembers back in first grade in the USA, you were all pulled out of the first grade in the afternoon for a first grade class photo. Now, in that photo, sometimes a kid had their finger in their nose, sometimes a kid was looking at the sky, half the time your child wasn't even looking at the, screen, at the photographer. 
and there's bunny ears, and every once in a while you find what? A birdie. A birdie. Okay, so you have 10 seconds to get your teams into a classic first grade photo. Go! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, freeze! Freeze! Okay. That is nothing like I described. <laughs> Get back into position. Okay, over here on the board side, I see lots of great emotion. I see a little bit of physical happening. Not much, because this was pretty easy. But is it fun? Yes, it is. But over on the starboard side. I see physical, I see emotion, I see fun. So that point would have gone to the starboard side. Okay, now we hear where you're gonna earn some points. Earn some points. Okay. It's the, we're taking you back a few days ago. Y'all gonna hate me for this, but I don't care. It's the World Series. And your favorite team you're sitting at home watching the World Series, and your favorite team just won the World Series. Go! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Freeze! 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 Do not move! Do not speak! Do not move! Do not speak! Freeze! Thanksgiving and it's called now let's take you back some umpteen years on the Black Friday that to this day still holds the record for the most fights ever and that was the year of the Tickle Me Elmo some of y'all were in those fights and there is no better place to be on Black Friday to watch a good fight than anywhere other than Walmart. You know, you know, and you know, it is Walmart. So picture this. We are in Walmart at 5.56 a.m. in the morning, and there is one Tickle Me Elmo left. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 5, 5, 4, Three, two, one, freeze! I have to come on stage. 
names for this. Because this has to be a play by play. Right. I'm looking for emotion, I'm looking for fun, I'm looking for risk. Over here on the port side, they are going all in. It's like a great, it's like a gray hair pound down. They have attacked this poor man. Over here, we got the lady. She's got a step on the back. She is totally slamming him down. But another grandma right behind her got her by the neck. And she had another woman by the hair at the same. Whose grandmama is this? This must be Thor's grandmama, baby. Over here on this side, I don't know if they waltzing, or they dancing, or they fighting. But over here, this lady is out like a light. I don't know what's happening here. I think he's trying, I think Elmo's trying to get away. And over here on this side, we got a leg up. So even though she went down, she's giving them a good sucker punch with her right leg. You don't see it, but it's right there. That point goes to... for this one. Okay. Imagine this. Two people meet at a coffee shop, they exchange numbers, they go out on a date. That date turns into dating, dating turns into a relationship. They eventually get married, move into their own home, and you know what? They want to start a family. So the day has come Nine months later, you are in the emergency room and a baby is being born. Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 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 four, three, two, one, freeze! I don't wanna turn around. The look at your face and says, I don't want to turn around. <laughs> okay. We've got multiple births happening here. And if we are it who are you the baby? She's catching the baby. She's karate chopping the baby is what she's doing. We got two birds being born here. We've got the doctor going like, I'm just holding on. The dad is like, oh my goodness. And this guy looks like he's catching a football. It's like, there's back spray. I'm just kidding. Over here, oh my God. First of all, the baby's breached. And if that baby came out that big, you should be in pain. <laughs> Daddy's shocked because he's like, that ain't my child. <laughs> and I think we got another birth happening here. Who does it go to? Does it go to the starting side? The poor side? The starting side? The poor side? And the winner is... The winner is... Well, everyone, I want to thank you so much for coming out. My name is Cam. I'm your cruise director. 
I really do appreciate it for you being patient while we fix our issues. However, team captains, team captains, please report back to the edge of the stage. Team captains, please report to the edge of the stage. For our team captains, we're gonna give them something special because it's they were fun and most of all they were fair. So how about a round of applause to our team captains? Alright everybody, coming up in approximately one hour is gonna be our Back to the 50 show featuring some of your guests. So make sure you're back right here in these seats as we get started with our Back to the 50 show in our Journeys Cruise. Have you had a great cruise so far? And has the crew treated you well? Well, enjoy the rest of your night. I will see you right back here on stage for our Back to the 50 show with our guests and some of our crew. Thanks for coming out. My name is Cam. I'll see you soon. And as always, ciao for now.